So, I've been making videos for just over two years now, but the last setup video I made was over eight months ago. So here's an updated, more in-depth setup tour. Enjoy the video. So starting the review in my shed, yes I do make videos in this shed, was constructed in 2007 by my father and uncle to be a storage shed but in early 2016 it was converted to a laundry room which I happen to record my videos in. So inside of the shed one thing you're going to notice is how messy everything is laid out. The reason why everything is like this is because I prefer function over form hence why there is a ton of wires dangling everywhere. So the first thing you're going to notice is the infamous racing rig. This is a full GT Omega racing cockpit, this isn't the art cockpit but it is really good nevertheless. Moving on to the wheel, this is a Thrustmaster TX racing wheel. Comparing it to my previous wheel, the G920, I do much prefer this wheel. This is because it's really easy to drift and race with. However, I do miss having three pedals and a shifter as standard. As I got it for cheap, the pedals in the box weren't original. They're actually from the Thrustmaster 458 spider wheel, which is a bit of a shame, but it works, so there's no need to complain. Looking up, you'll notice these strange looking strips lined along the ceiling. Those are in fact LED strips. I got them because it gives the room a very, very very nice atmosphere. I could change the colour scheme to anything I want with these multiple remotes. However, I chose this blue and red light pattern as it really reminds me of Virgin Atlantic's cabin. Now moving on to the screen. I usually use this 42 inch Samsung screen to game and record with. However, the very nice guys at BenQ sent me their EX3203R curved gaming monitor to try out. Now we have three screens in our household, such as this 65 inch curved Ultra HD Samsung TV, this 32 inch JVC TV and this 42 inch Samsung which I was currently using. However, on a cost to quality ratio nothing can beat this monitor. Talking specs it has a 31.5 inch screen, 144 hertz, 2560 by 1440 screen resolution otherwise known as 2k. The HDR technology in the screen increases dynamic range to therefore make the images more close to real life which is ideal if you're somebody who wants to have the most realistic experience in gaming. One feature I love about this monitor is BenQ's eye care technology. If you're constantly hassled by your parents or partner for being glued behind a screen for hours on end then this is the monitor for you. The eye care technology decreases flicker, decreases blue light and uses brightness intelligence technology to reduce eye strains and unwanted headaches. Seeing as this is a gaming monitor too, you can of course use this game to play any game you want. One of my personal favourites to play with this screen is F1 2018 as it makes the colours pop out, makes the image sharper and in conclusion result in a more immersed gaming experience. Here's a lap around Melbourne in F1 2018 using the BenQ monitor. So yep, yeah, that's my new monitor I shall be using. Big thank you to the guys over at BenQ for sending me this amazing monitor. So if you do want to watch movies, YouTube videos, game or even just have a go at sim racing, I highly recommend going with this monitor as I truly do believe that it is the best on the market. I've left links below if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself. Anyways, now moving to a room I don't really show on YouTube, my bedroom. Also the room where I edit all of my videos. So the table is white because 
Oh, people might find this strange, but I'm a sucker for bright colours. Underneath the windowsill, you'll find this LED strip, which is actually one of the best things I've ever purchased for my room, I kid you not. So this is my laptop that I edit my videos on. I forgot the full name of it, but it has 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, Bang & Olufsen speakers, and a very nice sleek design. It did cost quite a lot of money though. Moving to something gaming YouTubers won't really show much, their wardrobe. Here I hang my jackets, hoodies, belts, etc. And underneath are a few of my shoes. And that is pretty much it with the setup. I hope you guys did really enjoy this slightly different video. I try to mix it up a little bit, but I will be making more sketches in the future. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, have a good one, guys. Cheers. Sie pudert sich die Nase, ich pop meine Zenny. Check your fashion notes auf meinem Handy. Rocket Gucci Prada Louis Fendi. Pferde Mädchen lesen gerne Wendy.